Yes, sir. We finally got done. We finally got done. We was up here, I think we was figuring up a week ago Thursday, this coming Thursday. Yep. Be two weeks. <clears throat> Be two weeks Thursday. And you shot a nice buck, mm -hmm. 10 point. We've got all that on footage yep. as y'all folks are fixing to see. And the deer duck, <laughs> and we tracked, we tracked, and it rained, and we lost blood, yep. and we tracked all day to dark, had to go home, had other engagements we had to be at, and got home like 5.30 in the morning maybe, That's right. drove all night, uh, come back with Mr. Braden, nearly two weeks later, took mm -hmm. Braden out, uh, he got a big buck the first afternoon here at Kentucky Antler Company, <laughs> and, and since then, we've been in tree stands, we've been on the ground, we've been in the weeds, we've been in the thicket, we've been in the drawers, and this was our last morning we had to go home. Last morning. <clears throat> and God bless you. Oh, yes. So we finally got up on that buck again. Uh, like I said, folks, it ducked. Uh, wasn't Oscar's fault, but this is a proven fact. Uh, it's our responsibility as hunters, uh, if you wound the animal, to do everything you can to retrieve it. And we was blessed. Uh, got the deer this morning. You made a great shot this morning. Uh, killing shot right off the bat. And just in the nick of time. Yeah. We had to go home. <laughs> Yeah, it just uh, seems like that way sometimes. Just got to hold you up to the end and then just prevails. Well, I've always said through yeah. every trial and every test, there's a blessing to follow. Oh, yes. And we was tested this week. We it both give up. I mean, we we walked, and, and I know Wayne was tick I, I believe Wayne was more tender than he was. Because he was wore out. Uh, we well, actually got to see the deer yesterday yeah. and couldn't get a shot on it. And uh, it was still, still going. And I actually been haunting, had some fresh mm -hmm. bark on its horn yeah. this morning. It's been haunting, but uh, God seen fit that you harvest that deer. And folks, y'all are going to get to see the whole hunt. And Gaylene, we'd like to thank you for your hospitality. Oh, and we enjoy time. it every time you guys and, uh, come. <laughs> everything you do for us, and especially these extreme green hunts, uh, you, you, make, you make a difference. It blesses us more than it blesses them. We enjoy it so much. Yeah, we, that, you know, that's. Kind of when we started doing these dream hunts several years ago, we thought, uh, you know, well, we're going to help provide these families a blessing, but we've learned, I think we get blessed more than they do. Absolutely. So I agree. We, we need to be thankful for everything we have. And remember, God's in control, folks. He is the great physician. And don't ever give up uh, on life. Don't ever give up on anything. God's got it all under control. And he just wants us to lay it down at his feet and let him hold our burdens. And you can do that. But first, you've got to ask him to be your Lord and personal Savior. And it says in Romans 10, 13, for whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that's all we have to do is go to him and ask him, ask him to forgive us of our sins, and he'll come into our life. And I promise you, it'll be the best choice you'll ever make. Now, sit back, enjoy today's show.
Folks, that has shot a monster ten pointer. I tell you what, I'm about to shake out this ladder stand. What are you shaking for? <laughs> oh no. I mean, it ain't cold out here, dude. You know, I watched. I watch TV all the time, and I wonder why after the shot, people just was out of breath and shaking and stuff. Now, this is the biggest buck in my life, and it's with my bow. I tell you what. I couldn't be happier. Thank the Lord for letting me come out. Whew. I made fun of everybody for being out of breath and stuff, so I wanted to eat my words on that one. I never experienced anything like this. God has been good to me. I tell you what. Whew. Jeff, you might have to help me out of this ladder stand here. Man. Folks, I can't wait to get down and lay my hands on him. The camera's shaking too. I don't know. He didn't even pull the trigger on that thing. He's shaking. So, y'all stay tuned. Let's see what big old got down on the ground. God bless. Size gets up and turn around, so I'm so uh, 
Yes, 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 yes! Woo! <laughs> Woo, baby! Well, folks, what are you shaking for? I am tore up. I tell you what, Big Ten, we was hunting a couple of days ago. I uh, took and <clears throat> made a shot on him, as you can tell in the film. And I know he's gonna be in this area in here in this bottom draw. So we come back out and thank God we was able to get back on him. We set up and it, it turned a little bit cooler. It was hot uh, that evening. And we said, well, the next cool morning it comes, we're gonna come back out and set up on him and hopefully uh, he come back through. And sure enough, he come back through and we uh, made sure he's the deer that I shot the last time and we was able to put a good shot on him and he's way off in this bluff down here so now the work begins don't you? Yep. But thank you Lord for letting me have this deer or I just can't I mean it's the biggest deer I've ever killed in my life so thank God for allowing me to come out and enjoy your creation boats y'all stay tuned you're watching string christian outdoors we fit and go lay our hands on this deer well oscar it's been hard yes it has but this is the deer that i filmed you shooting a oh. week ago or a couple weeks ago a week ago i guess, yeah, I guess about a week, a week ago seemed like it's just yesterday and we tracked and tracked and it started raining so we come back and our goal was if this deer was still on its hoof, that he was going to try it again. I'll and the Lord, it. the Lord blessed us. Yes, this is it. it. Uh, right up there before you hit it the other day, the deer ducked when you shot. And actually, the iris worked its way out right there before it come out the other day. And you made a good shot on it this morning. We fixed and have to go home. Yep. 
I mean, I'm talking about within a couple of hours. I done give up. Yeah. I done give up. Uh, it's hard. It's, we, we just bless. That's all our tip, folks. Good 10 point, perfect track. So, uh, just blessed. I, I, I'm speechless. I am too. I'm, I'm shook up so bad I can't talk. <laughs> so, That's unlike me. Uh, Lord just sent it right around. He did. We, Wayne had a hunch where it might come through at, where it's baited up at. It. And sure enough, we got here at daylight. And uh, so I don't know what time it is now. I ain't got my watch on, but it can't be much past 8 or 8.30. Uh -huh. So now the work is getting down. Yeah. Uh, but why, it's working. Why? Yeah, but I mean, when I look out here in front of me, that's billy goat country. Yep. And me and you ain't never the one got the physique of a billy goat. No. <laughs> we eat like one. We're going to have to get a big rope. You reckon we can tie the rope on to us and get somebody to come pull us out? Yeah, maybe. Because yeah. I slid down here. Yeah. But you made a great shot. So, uh, congratulations. Thank you, Jeff. I'm glad I got to witness <clears throat> it. And, folks, go to show you don't ever give up. No. Don't ever give up. So, uh, we're going to get this thing out of here. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more Extreme Christian Outdoors. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Um, it's a pretty stressful show for me, uh, but the reason why I'm uh, giving my little testimony here is I'm going to title it, Not to Lose Faith. Yeah, as you've seen in the show, uh, I was able to make a good shot on a, uh, a big 10-pointer, uh, biggest deer of my life, uh, 2013 hunting season, uh, of bow hunting, Rush, Kentucky. Me and Jeff was sitting in the stand, Jeff was filming me, had a big buck come in, and I said, that's the one I want right there, if the Lord's willing, that's the one I want. So he kept coming in, and I'll draw back, and just, you know how you make mistakes. Um, I pushed the quiver up too far on my bow, and uh, of course, all your bow hunters know what that does when you uh, squeeze a release, it makes a noise. Well, I squeezed the release on this big 10 point. I done had him on the ground. He was my buck. And of course, it made a racket. He ducked, backed out, put some boat away. I hit him a little bit high, but uh, it, I thought it was a pretty decent shot. So we went and tracked him. Of course, didn't do no good. And I hunted the rest of the time trying to get up on that buck. No luck. So I left there really beating myself up. Well, make, make a long story short, two weeks later we was able to go back, and my mind is, I'm going to get a chance, I hope, I'm going to hunt for that buck the rest of the week, and I did, and the Lord blessed me with that buck, and the moral of the story is never give, give up, God, he puts everything in place for a reason, myself, as we do as humans, we go ahead and, and say, I deserve that deer, that's fine. But sometimes God's got to put you in place. He humbles us. And he really humbled me on that deer. But he's a gracious God because he allowed me to harvest that deer two weeks later, as you see on the film. I was tickled to death, but I also was humbled. And we're up here in uh, uh, Burksville, Kentucky. Today, uh, end of turkey season, I was able to harvest me a big bird yesterday, tickled to death. I was just looking out over here and uh, just, I mean, it is beautiful. And I just, everywhere we go, we've been in Texas, we've been in uh, Arkansas, um, Oklahoma, we've been everywhere. And everywhere you look, there's beauty. And I mean, you can't say God didn't have all this in, in place for, you know, reason. My Bible verse for the day is 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Live by faith, not by sight. And faith is what carries us through. So if you don't have faith, you need to check up and, and see. Because, I mean, faith is what gets us through all of our desperate needs and, and worries and stuff. And we keep our eyes on Him, and He will provide. So I hope you all enjoyed today's show. God bless you. Tune in next time.